We spent New Year's together and that's the time when he asked me to be his girl and to commit to him and he posted a video of us on social media. He said to me, I love you. I don't want you to be with other men. Damn. These niggas be going out sad, bro. This is exactly why you cannot see what these people say no matter who the tuber is you can't take what they say as law bro they doing what they say not to do and living their life saying crazy shit about you because of how you moving today's topic um seems that um our, our friend um Walt walter weeks mr fresh prince ceo got his uh for pregnant and she's keep who Keeping the baby and she's exposing him. <laughs> yes. Yes, no, sir. Alpha male guru, whatever, red pill, knows the truth of the world. Right, right. Uh, got caught up uh, with a sex worker and got her pregnant. Oh, but uh, yikes. Yikes. That nigga, huh? I mean, did we not all see through these niggas yet? He was talking about Habib Hijab and he was like, the thing is, if you don't believe in the laws of logic and, for example, non-contradiction or, for example, 2 plus 2 equals 4, if you don't believe in any of that, then you can't have a conversation with anyone about anything because there's no common ground. But, you can never find out what truth is. Okay, so yeah. creation itself, who decided 2 plus 2 plus 4? Man did, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying on a basis, 2 plus 2, who decided that? Who decided 2 plus 2? <laughs> <laughs> bruh, stop, bruh, stop, bruh, don't do this, bruh, come on, bruh. Who's four? Is that a serious question? Yeah, yeah, what no, respect I'm, like? I'm no, no, I'm, I'm asking you. No one decided two plus two equals so, four. How did it come about? <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he, he, yeah, that was, that was bad, bro. That was bad, bro. <laughs> that was bad, gang. <laughs> Yo, that shit was funny, right? <laughs> but who decided you know what <laughs> there's nobody who can stump you like a stupid person man uh, so uh, Miss Fit the one that fresh was she writes she sends a picture of the pregnancy test she took damn two of them because she needed to confirm yes, yeah, that she yeah, I gotta make sure. those babies you always told me you wanted to be your baby's you wanted me to be your baby mother. M mother, okay. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. Mm. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. I'll call you shortly. Take your time. Damn. And then he says, I can't have kids. Damn. And she says, take responsibility for your act. Facts, stupid nigga. That's how it go, nigga. Actions. That's what happens, goes, nigga. He goes, what's this? She goes, read it. Blood test. Pregnancy blood test. So she got all the tests. Yeah, she's she not knew. playing. I know, but what does it mean? I don't understand the numbers. Because <laughs> two plus two equals four. <laughs> <laughs> and then she highlights it on the paper. <laughs> pregnant, nigga. I'm pregnant, gang. <laughs> it just says pregnant. And he says, it's, debatable. it's not about that right now. It's good. It's not good. And a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. Yeah. And she goes, I, I mean, never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated? If you keep coming inside me, I will get pregnant. Bam. I don't get pregnant without your behave. Words mean nothing. Man up. I'm not saying because I want to be with you because I don't. Because you are nothing Damn. to me. But the baby Damn. Is Call that a, a cash grab. Nigga, I'm not, I don't fuck with you, boy. I'm a sex worker, boy. But you got money, and I need that. I don't want to be having sex with niggas no more. I don't know, nigga. Run that checkup. What are you saying? We're not together and won't be. Why would that be good for the kid? So she goes, why did you keep coming inside me? Mm, mm. <laughs> hey, listen, lady. Why did you let this man? All those things happen, and yes, feelings change. But bringing a kid into this world without parents' love is cruel. We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. <laughs> okay. Aside from two plus two being four, coming inside of a woman means very possible to get her pregnant. Very <laughs> and who possible. decided? Who decided that coming inside girl means baby? Who decided? And he goes, also now I'm worried. I have to test the other girls, at least four. And then- Fuck that gotta do with me? And? 
What the fuck did you say? That's what he wrote. He's trying to throw her Did off. Run, make that up. And she says, another girl, four girls. You were saying you have sex with four girls without protection? I hope you have all the money for your children. Wait, wait, wait. That's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. Mm. He said, I have to get tests for the other girls. All four. Trying to, like, fuck her head he up. Goes, I don't have money. Good luck. You will see. <laughs> Unfortunately, Fresh, that's not how it works. I don't have no money. She filed them court documents. They're going to get your bank accounts. They're going to oh, get yeah. your statements. And you're going to have to cough up that cash. This ain't something that you can walk your way out of. You better pray to high heaven because you're going to be on the hook for a lot. This is a story between me and Walter Weeks, podcaster known as Fresh. Pug CEO. Wow. I met him on November 21st in Miami. I fall love with him wow okay this girl writes like an immigrant we spend new years like a what like an immigrant <laughs> no that no, i'm accurate we spend new years together and that's the time when he asked me to be his girl and to commit to him and he posted a video of us on social media he said to me i love you i don't want you to be with other men <laughs> damn these niggas be going out sad bro this is exactly why you cannot see what these people say it don't matter if, no matter who the tuber is, you can't take what they say as law, bro. Cause they doing what you said. They doing what they say not to do and living their life and, 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 and saying crazy shit about you because of how you moving. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. <laughs> A few days later, he asked me to meet his mom. Everything went well. Wow. I showed him and his mom my respect. He defended me on his podcast from the rumors. That's the moment I truly fall in love with him. But this is where the game begins. I left Miami on January 8th. So that's like, okay, that's not even like a month and a half. Traveled back to China for Chinese New Year. The night before, we had a serious conversation. He said he sees me like someone to spend the whole life with mm. and i told him i was going to move to miami for him from then we started a long distance relationship for two months until i traveled to barbados i met his entire family there everything was Damn. so real he was serious with me therefore i'm not on birth control and we had sexual behavior without protection at first everything was fine i stayed in his apartment we had a mutual understanding he's not a monogamous person that me and him both need both needs our own space so i suggested him to help me rent an apartment I want you to have the things you want as you understand me. Wow. Ten days later, a morning after we had lunch with his sister, he broke his promises. After a few days, he asked me to move out. He stopped coming home. He disappeared for three nights without explanation. I left my work behind and oh, so to he... this relationship. So I moved uh... out, booked a flight to New York City. On March 30th, I had a pregnancy test, and it's positive. She's not a U.S. citizen? Tough. I was telling her to take a pill to get rid of the kid. Okay. Oh, there's audio. So the title of this is called Ling Ling Leaks Phone Call with... God. That's crazy. That's a crazy title. Damn. Yo, the people on Reddit are just saying, yo, <laughs> crazy <laughs> title. I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from the doctor and then you're good. <laughs> He's trying at work his move, bro. Welcome your new child, your Avent, your Asian Barbados child into the world, my nigga. It's happening. Okay. I'm gonna this is joking aside, okay? This is just for everyone watching at home. Abortion shouldn't be something you guys take lightly, okay? Abortion right. should not be some form of birth control that you guys heavily rely on. A lot of you guys are just busting inside of people, no birth control, they're not on birth control, don't care. And then when shit hit the fan, you just looking at the ladies like, yo, take a pill. Go to the clinic. That's a lot. That's a lot on the woman, bro. You got like, I need y'all to keep that in mind. Like, it's like, it's yeah, it's it's that easy, but it's a lot on that woman, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be, it could do a lot to her mental, bro. You know what I'm saying? The, the guys, men, don't take that. The, just because you ain't got to go through the bodily shit, don't take in the mental shit. Don't take it lightly, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Be respectful, type shit incredibly physically traumatic things for a lot of women to experience it fucks up their hormone balance for an extended period of time it has physical ramifications and it messes with their psyche if you've never had your hormones completely out of whack you may never be able to understand but just casually saying yo just take a pill do this just get rid of you guys are asking a lot <clears throat> okay so i'm not saying that you guys can't have conversations about abortion right but the way some of you guys approach it and the way you guys talk about it so very ins very insensitive y'all are so goddamn irresponsible about, about it i don't even care if you guys get caught up having to pay child support y'all should be a bit more considerate of what you're asking the opposite sex to do in regards to their own body when it comes to abortion well they not... never lived it. It, 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 it it's one thing not living it 
but you can at least put yourself in the shoes of the person. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, they haven't lived it. They, they will never live it. They no. will never understand how no. traumatic and crazy that is. And, and what you put yourself... But, I mean, I wouldn't expect someone not understanding 2 plus 2 equals 4 to understand that. <laughs> but you have to understand what it... What it what it brings a person like just even not the pill is crazy like you have to force and induce basically it's not just it magically disappears no no you have to induce your body into a contraction to expel the thing you know what I mean so mm, for your body and to induce your body to do that the chemicals that you have to my understanding is even after it happens for a long extended period of time after that they still feel the effects of a pregnancy that's correct so like their bodies are kind of going through it the entire time mm -hmm. so and if you've never seen a woman who's pregnant like she's going through mood strings her hormones are all over the place hell her yeah appetite her depression her, her like everything changes so just guys understand what it is you guys are asking for that little short bit, short bit of like play you really i feel like you're really not gonna feel that Unless the girl that you like to ask to do that with is somebody that you really like tied to, you know what I'm saying? And then you see what they going through and then you like, ah, damn, I gotta move differently. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's somebody, if it's just some fling, you're like, man, fuck that girl, I ain't stressing her. You know what I'm saying? So you, you don't even think about it. But you only, I say that to say for guys that aren't in a committed sh relationship, but then they get a girl pregnant, you know what I'm saying? This is a good wake up call for y'all just to kind of like see what they talking about. I hear, I understand where y'all be coming from. I feel y'all. It's a lot. Having a baby is a lot, boy. Trust. You know what I'm saying? But you do got to be considerate of that and understand that my nigga, if she don't want to do that, sign the boss up, boy. You better get you, get you some more shifts. Better start working on your dreams more because in nine months, it's going to get real. Trust and believe. Pleasure that you guys get busted inside the sugar walls. You guys are demanding that they take this thing and there's like very little consideration for it when you guys have this conversation. I understand being caught up with a child and it being brought up in unfair circumstances and child support, all that shit's crazy. But a lot of y'all not even taking that shit into consideration when you bust it inside of these broads. And then you just say this shit willingly afterwards. It just doesn't sit right with me. I think it's a bad way to approach it. And I also think if you want her to actually get the abortion, it's probably best not to just go nuclear and be like, Cause then she's gonna just cut you off. Just something to think about. What do you mean? Because if you're just like, yo, fuck you, then she'd be like, fuck y'all do what I want. And then what happens? You can't even have any say. And me listening to this broad too, like she's an idiot as well. This guy puts his whole life out there. She gets with expecting him to take responsibility of all this other stuff. The dude is constantly in different dumb situations. What's more, he's told her, I'm gonna be sleeping with other people. He does it with you unprotected. Why wouldn't you think he's not going to do it with the other ladies unprotected? Sure. I don't know. To me, it's just like you met him November 21st. You guys are talking about having babies by January. Like, this broad is stupid. Two months, you having babies or with a dude who's... She either stupid or she know the, she has a play in motion. You know what I'm saying? Sleeping with a bunch of other women? Or smart. Right. Or she knows exactly what she's doing. Right, right, right. Baby trapping? I'm, I'm not, I don't want to put it out there, but it's either two things. Whenever I see a, a, a thing, when I see a situation like that, I see that it's either really stupid or someone thought about this whole thing. No, yeah. I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? And she posted by, it, buddy. By saying, I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean, I'm to, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. This is what I think it's thought out. When do you go from I really love them yeah, yeah, to record so. all the conversation to trap them out and yeah, to, to, to put it out there? And to That's why like, I think it's kind of weird because they're having a conversation now. No, go ahead. It don't take that much. Like if you really love somebody or you're like you're really crazy about them and especially if you got the crazy hormones going on inside you because mm. you're pregnant, two, three months is all it takes for you to be like this. I don't know. I'm a buddy on the left with this one. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely with gang on the left. Person abandoned me. They're talking crazy about me online. Yo, I'm about to expose everything. Hey, hey, listen, if you feeling cornered and isolated, it don't take much for you to get online and talk crazy. I'm gonna air this shit out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not that crazy. That's not that you. crazy at all. I hear you, I hear you. I have seen that happen way faster than three months. Sure. I <laughs> see that. Sure. Hey, the, the the switch from I love you to like I'm gonna put your whole shit on blast is not that far for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, I, hear you. I, I love hear you too. You. I'm gonna bust the windows out your car. But also, someone saying I love you in two months, I don't believe them at all. 
I think these are just people who are a little bit unstable and a little bit cuckoo, and then they just the love bomb. bomb like crazy and say bomb. crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, the love bomb is crazy. So, like, when these people say love, it means nothing to me. All right, so that, that's just a bit. Um, <sighs> Pug CEO got fit pregnant, and now he's got to deal with the consequences. So that's uh, the whole story. You say it. Yeah, that's the story. I said it earlier. Okay? But, man, you said it, and you surprised me with it. Nah, 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 like, nah, nah, that's crazy. Once you pointed that out. Yo, shit, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. I believe if you going if you know what you're doing, bro, you know what the consequences are. You're a grown ass man, especially with him. He like thirty plus. Yeah, bro. And you're out here having sex with sex workers raw. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay that price, brother. It is what it is.